It's a crime that doesn't get a lot of attention, but costs tens of millions of dollars every year. A restaurant in Howell is putting a spotlight on what it is and why it matters. Jacqueline Francis explains. We're out back here at Griff's Grill near the dumpsters, an area where you wouldn't really think there'd be anything valuable enough worth stealing. But in fact, there is. And this time it was caught on camera. We're closed on Sunday, so I was here on Sunday doing my more work that I do. And I see this that white pumper truck pull up. Right away, Joe Matley knew something was up. I'm like, what the heck is this guy doing? He's at the wrong place or something, you know. Matley, the owner of Griff's Grill in Howell, had a feeling he was there to steal his used kitchen grease stored in this back container. What are you doing here? I said, you're not here just trying to steal my grease, are you? And he looks at me, and he's get, that's when he gets out of the truck, and he walks over, and he looks at the sticker on the front. He's like, oh, I'm with DARPRO. I'm like, really? As suspected, Matley said he wasn't with the company. He was there to steal the used grease. While it's not exactly liquid gold, the used cooking oil that gets tossed from restaurants at the end of the day does have some value. 20, 30 years ago, we used to have to pay companies to pick it up and get rid of it. Then they started figuring out, hey, we can make biodiesel fuel out of it. We can, you know, refine it and use it into a lot of things. Now, companies like DARPRO pay the restaurants one or two hundred dollars to come pick up the grease every month. Then they sell the grease to recyclers. I talked to DARPRO, the company, this morning, and they told me that uh, it's it's a big black market business. DARPRO estimates seventy-five million dollars worth of used cooking oil is stolen each year. It's not that big of a deal, but, you know, being a small independent business guy, you know, which a lot of the places are around here, every little bit counts. Don't steal from me. This time the truck got away and it didn't have a license plate, but the owner did make a police report and put out a warning on social media so other restaurants can keep an eye out. Reporting in Howell, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Okay, Jacqueline.